Hey again, this is Peter Redcraft, and here's another super exciting announcement and uh, introduction to a recent major update, which we call Collections. Now, Collections is coming from um, a work that we did based on all the feedback that we received uh, about objects, um, an update that we introduced a couple of months ago. And Collections basically will help you within a, to organize your content within a document to make sure you have a pretty neat overview of all the important projects, tasks, or whatever you want to track. And let me actually show you the feature instead of uh, promoting it. So let's start from scratch. The way you can add collections is using the forward slash key, for example, and select the insert collections. What this will do this will basically give you this uh, collection overview and you can of course rename this and let's say for the sake of this example this is going to be a travel plan and i also have this here a few fields for myself that i want to include in my collection um, so you will see a few rows a few columns but everything can be customized so these are the fields um, and you can customize the uh, fields, of course. So by default, you will see here tags, but let's say uh, we want to have for our travel plans, uh, have a few destinations, destinations, and I want this to be a text field, right? So um, I'm going to simply enter uh, with my own words where I'm going to travel, and this column uh, will have um, this name. And let me actually add uh, accommodation as well. You know what, uh, for the sake of uh, efficiency, I will just copy this word and I will add a new uh, custom field. So this will be accommodation. Uh, let's have it also as a text field. And you know what, transportation could be a different uh, field type. So I will add transportation and this will be multiple select because we have different types of, uh, you know, options. For example, we can go by car. So I'm adding the values that I'm, that I want to select from uh, under, under the um, transportation column, car, uh, let's say bike and, uh, and maybe walking, it's super healthy. So let's add that as well. And there you go. So let's say on day one, um, on our first day, we'll go to uh, France and Paris, and we will go, uh, oh, actually, sorry, we will stay in a hotel. Uh, we can, of course, give it a name, and the transportation um, will be by car. And we, I can actually add the date as well. So let's let's have a date and the field type should be date then in this case and so on. So you can customize and build up uh, your whole plan and, and continue uh, sorting information. What's pretty cool that all these um, entries or fields are also work as sub pages. So you can go ahead and add further information for your day. Um, let me pull actually a travel template for um, for day one. I want to have actually a, a travel journal. I will use this template and um, yeah, this will be perfect. And let me show a few other capabilities of collections with some existing um, collections I did or already. So here I have my book reading list where you see title of the book, the author, and um, and a lot of additional fields. But you know what, this starting, I don't really care now when I started and finished these books and what was my rating. So I will remove um, uh, these columns and just to simplify my collection. And I also like uh, to have another view of my information. So I will create a new um, new view. So I just duplicated basically um, the, uh, the existing list. And here I want to see only, so I'm going to filter, um, let's say uh, fiction. So let's uh, specify that the genre should be fiction. And now 
in this uh, view, let me rename this to fiction. I will see information only about fiction and I can jump around uh, between these categories and see the relevant books. But this is also, oh, you know what? I also want to um, indicate the finish state with a check mark. So I will add checkbox and that's perfect. And I finished this one. So I will just go ahead and mark it as so. Uh, in terms of, you know, physical activities, let's say uh, in a completely different domain, we have um, the option to here to change and, and de define what type of workout we did. Uh, so I set this up, this collection specifically to be able to indicate um, the muscle groups. So also, um, I added these values. And what's pretty cool is that we can actually have some calculations and I want to have an average of, um, of the duration of my exercises. So I will just select average. And now I know uh, how long it takes uh, on average my each exercise. And I also want to know um, the calorie uh, consumption. I also will take an average here just to understand uh, how long it takes and how much calorie it takes. Ah, that's perfect. And you know what? I realized I missed something. Uh, you know, exercises are super important from water uh, consumption as well. So I want to link here, um, I will name this field as link, some helpful information from my other uh, documents. So I created a new, um, new field type called link and I want to take the hydration document link. So I'm just copying the link to that document and place it here. So whenever maybe I just want to make sure I drink enough water, I can go to this document from the link directly. Of course, I can place there any other link uh, from the web, but this, uh, this allows you to basically create links within your space to other relevant documents. And lastly, let me show you our actual content plan for this release. So we use collections to uh, stay on top of all the content we want to create uh, throughout the upcoming uh, days and weeks. And this is extremely helpful for us to stay on top of, of all the tasks. And of course, here we can uh, group uh, certain uh, group by uh, certain elements. For example, here I want to group by uh, status uh, to make sure I, we see where we are. So I see here, we have in planning phase these two content, we have a research phase. And uh, of course, as this video also indicates, we have uh, a few other uh, topics in progress. And of course, you have further options to sort your information uh, by title, by status, by location. It's really up to you. And I really hope this will also elevate your gaming craft. And please let us know how this feature helps you and how this feature can be uh, put on the next level. So happy crafting.